Two men have been rescued after a boating trip ended in disaster. They survived three hours in the water after their boat sank off two rocks. One was unconscious and suffering severe burns. A frantic dash by a partner in distress. Her husband found after a sea search, he and his neighbour both burnt by fuel vapours. A disastrous end to a boating trip it was the second time they'd used the boat. It's touch and go. The pair were found by sea rescue and water police boats. Both were found in the water. They'd been there for three hours. One was unconscious. Paramedics from the rescue helicopter performed CPR on the dock as his loved ones watched. The second man, cold and injured, but he managed to walk to a waiting ambulance. The 36 and 38 year old set off in their boat at 7.30 this morning at Two Rocks. By 10 a.m., water police, two sea rescue boats, three choppers, and a fixed wing plane were out looking for them. Once the EPIRB is activated, it certainly puts us into a dis distress phase, so there's a, a high level of concern and a high level of urgency to, to activate. Hence, the, uh, the police boat and the police helicopter being sent directly to the scene. They set off their EPIRB when a wave swamped their boat. The signal lasted just moments as the boat sank. Our understanding is that the, both men are suffering some kind of vapour burns from the fuel. It was just their second time on the boat. On Sunday, they took their kids for a cruise. This morning, it was just the two of them. Three hours in the water can be quite a critical time, for, especially for, with hypothermia. Both men were taken to Joondalup Hospital. Scott Cunningham, how are they tonight? Tim, both men are still being treated here at the emergency department at Joondalup Health Campus. Now, the 38-year-old man, he suffered some chemical burns and had to be resuscitated at the deck down there at Two Rocks Marina. We're told he's in a critical condition tonight, but plans to have him transferred to Royal Perth Hospital have been put on hold. Instead, he'll be moved to the intensive care unit. Now, his 36-year-old friend, he also suffered chemical burns to his back, but he's otherwise in a stable condition with his family and loved ones by his bedside. Libby.